again i will uh, explain something about uh, kudam and also we are planning to make it a broad way of learning websites so we will start uploading some kind of document which is related to school courses like mathematics for class 10 Java for class 10 and computers for class 10 and 12 maybe graduations everything will take time so as we just started before 10 days and we starting uploading some kind of document which are very important in this session so today in this series i'm going to explain about quorum targets so targets are very useful and very helpful to build your application from using and technology to build artifacts from the rsm modeling and from some other kind of xml files which are generating artifacts so here we will talk about uh, and targets so basically uh, there are uh, three main targets available in quorum we can say first target is a server and second target is a so first target is server second target you can say it is a database and third target you can say it is a client so what is the benefit of these targets and how they are working so maybe this will be a very short video i'm going to explain only a brief introduction about these targets and i will upload more documents which will explain uh, sub targets of these individual targets and with the benefits as well so sir uh, server server what server exactly so as per quorum folder structure there are one folder called ubb server so ubb server basically is a we component you can say we are putting all kind of java and some modeling some kind of xml file some kind of database related file and whenever i am our server targets execute it use those files and generate the artifacts so artifacts will be like your java file your dot xql file your xml file or maybe some kind of uh, your uh, uim or vim which is used in quorum for the presentation purpose now other target is database target so database target has its name indicate it is related to database so it is also using some kind of files which we used to write as a developer and those files will convert it in a database into that so basically this target will use those input files it will generate all insert table commands drop table commands and uh, maybe insert initial data as well it depends on your project how your project is setup so it is basically creating a schema inserting your uh, your uh, tables structure and maybe first before creating the tables it drop those tables and then you need putting uh, initial data which is very helpful to make you start your application with the basic functionalities the other command is client command client command is as it name indicates it is useful to build your clients so in quorum basically we are writing dot uim and dot vim files and there there are also some kind of dot xml files and some dot properties files and also some kind of java files we are writing which is very helpful to generate the Uh, represent, uh, representation view for the quorum. So client target is basically useful for that purpose to generate the representation, or you can say in other term, a presentation view for the quorum. So 
So basically, we are having server, database, client. Now again, uh, so here in Purim, the main target is server, and server is having again a lot of sub targets, and you have to learn those targets because these targets are not a very simple uh, target. These targets are consuming a lot of development time. So if you are changing anything and you don't know which sub command you need to do. Run, that means you are going to spend one and a half hour. Maybe in some application it is more than that. So it depends on project to project. So in some project, database itself is taking more than half an hour to build up database and using initial data. I'm talking about developer machine. I'm not talking about uh, production environment. Because in production environment, we are not doing data testing. We are just taking the delta and putting the delta. That is a different story. So we will talk more about server target because server target is very important. And uh, we will talk about it. So server is again having its sub child you can say server is having sub child you can say first is a generated and second one is a implemented so generated and implemented then again generated is very important and it is having the uh, sub targets it is having again sub targets like uh, uh, you can say model, CTGen, MSGen, EVGen, generate.compiler, that's it. So, I will talk about uh, like model. So, why model is very important. So as in Purim, we are doing modeling, UML modeling using RSA, digital software architect, and it is pro pro providing one profile specific for Purim. So when we are setting a stereotype based on that, our generator, when we run these commands, target commands, it generate their arguments. So model is a command which extract your RSA modeling and convert those model files into a Java or maybe some other files like you know, like uh, XML or properties so modeling is basically converting your you know overall picture I'm not going to internally what it is doing really so I will just concentrate on Java file. Suppose you model one entity. Its name is sample. So what will happen in this sample? So you model the sample and you put it some kind of attributes like F name, L name. Then what will happen in as per Purim artifacts? It will generate your interface. It will generate your base class. And it will generate your factory. So all these Java files will be created when you will do model target. You will run model target. So you can say build model target. So that will extract your RSA modeling and convert it at our uh, model modeling in a Java files. So this is the important of model. Suppose you did something in model. You don't want to do the full build like server because it is going to take time and you just want to make sure whatever you did in your modeling that is correct. So what you better what you can do you can run a build model. So it will check your it will validate your modeling whether whatever you did is correct or wrong. Suppose you did some kind of aggregation, extension or maybe you have 
create a foreign key relationship or indexes and you can make any kind of mistake as well sometimes uh, small mistakes happens while breaking and dropping the things or you are not deleting from the diagram suppose you created one aggregation that was wrong and you remove from the diagram and then again you created one aggregation and that is correct once you will do your model it will give a circulation error because a previous aggregation which you created was wrong and you deleted from the diagram not deleted from the model so in this way both the aggregation will be available and it will create a circular circular problem so this is the benefit of the model so if you did some model in quorum to the build model it will get it will give you the exact error or maybe it will be successful so you are ultimately you are going to save your time when you are running server or maybe generate it at the last okay so this is for model maybe i will represent some other targets like code table generation message generation event generation and implemented database sqls in my next videos for the time being thank you thanks a lot for your feedback which i got in my previous post please post your valuable comment in my website knowledgeola.com so i can improve things because it is a day to day wide uh, you can say it is a day to day activity for everyone to learn something new okay thank you guys have a nice day Thank you.